Welcome to the Demonstration Kitchen. I'm Chef Trent Hazelberg with Kachina Kitchen in Kohler, Wisconsin. Today, we're gonna make one of my favorite pastas. It is the Papardelle. So, we're gonna start off by sauteing up some vegetables. We have some wonderful grilled asparagus, some roasted red peppers, some mushrooms, and some wonderful yellow squash. And of course, we're an Italian restaurant, so we need a little bit of garlic in there. Once we get all that all nice and sauteed, we're gonna deglaze with a little white wine. This helps clean the pan of all the extra vegetable flavor that's left on the pan. Next, I'll do a little heavy cream, a little garlic cream, and we'll turn this down and just let this reduce. Garlic cream is we take a little bit of chicken stock, heavy cream, and roasted garlic some caramelized onions and let that all reduce together until it really develops some flavor. It's a very nice addition to most of our pastas that we add that are cream based. Um, next, I'm gonna show you how, to, how easy it is to cut Papardelle pasta. So I like to use easily accessible tools that we have laying around in an Italian restaurant. So I'm gonna use a pizza cutter. Um, so Papardelle pasta is a very thick pasta. Um, so first we'll start by cutting it in half. And I like, like to cut it about two thirds of an inch thick, but you can do it as thick as you'd like. Easy peasy lemon cheesy as they say, right? We'll do this one. Now we have our seasoned boiling water. We just have a little salt, a little uh, salad oil in there as well. And we can put our pasta right in there. When we put our pasta in the water, when you're doing fresh pasta, it's gonna take about 20 to 30 seconds to get that al dente pasta, which al dente means just done. So we'll give that a little stir. It's coming together wonderfully. Back to our cream sauce pan. You can see it's all reducing down, making some love in there. And we'll throw a little Parmesan in there to make it just extra fantastic. Stir that around a bit. And now our noodles are coming together. It's always important anytime you take your noodles out of the water especially when you're working with a cream sauce or any other sort of sauce, that you really let the water drain off. If you leave the water in there, it'll definitely dilute the flavor of your wonderful sauce you just created. So now, the fanciest trick ever known to man, and in all the restaurants, is the twirl. So we'll twirl our pasta up real nice, get those vegetables involved. All right. We'll take our pasta. And we'll hit that with some lovely fresh grated Stravecchio Parmesan. Oh yeah. Some fresh chiffonade basil. And there you have it, our Papardelle pasta from Kachina Kitchen.